that the GS eyes memoir is taken from here looking out this way. It's a, it's not a complete island as you see. It's not what the sea hasn't quite broken through from the south side to the north side, but it's almost. It'll go fairly quickly. We get a few large storms in here. This is the Mizzenhead Lighthouse. And we can see that there are a series of deep clefts here. And the, this one is of interest on this side because um, one of the former prime ministers of the country, bishops of the country, um, crashed his yacht uh, into this inlet one night. Uh, Charles J. Hockey and um, had to be rescued from from here in the storm. So he was very lucky not to lose his life. And then in the back of the inlet, we see that the rocks here are very tightly folded. There are a series of very small downwalks and upwalks in the rocks. And this, these are just on the flanks of these giant folds which form the main peninsulas. And on the left, we see a bedding plane that almost goes over. It looks like the back of a whale, and that is in fact the flank of an upfold going over there. So as we were coming back from the Mizenhead Lighthouse, we've seen a series of caves. And uh, Dave, can you explain us how these caves were formed and why are they there? Well, it looks as though most of the caves are actually either in the center of upfolds. You see that there's a, an upfold there with a cave forming at the base of it. There's one down below us here. But further along it looks as though the larger cave is actually formed where some soft bed, slightly purpley colored soft bed, dipping down has been eroded away rather more rapidly than the, the big thick sandstones above. And I think the same applies further over. But if we compare geology here on the mizzen head to geology on ship's head, is it similar? It's, it's similar in the sense that the spine of the headland is, is still the same set of Devonian rocks, but the details of them gradually changes as you go across the country, because they were deposited in different places at different rates and so forth. Mm -hmm. And so we learned today that all these nice hills, green hills with uh, sheep on them, they've been all formed during the Variscan orogeny, is it? That's, 300 million years ago. That's correct, yes. And uh, although you only see the folds right at the coast where they've been crumpled up, all the rocks underneath us as we cross these peninsulas, they're all similarly folded and crumpled and they have small faults and joints crossing them. Uh, it may look like smooth agriculture here, but underneath there's all sorts of complexity. Uh, that way, sorry. <laughs> Thank you.